Hey, what's going on? Welcome to another edition of Ray's Crazy Kitchen. What's up? I might rename my show pretty soon. I don't know. Anyway, this is the uh, beef stew edition. We're making beef stew in the crock pot. And the hardest thing about this whole ordeal is your prep time. Your prep time is going to be about 45 minutes probably between all the little things you've got to do to get your vegetables ready. Right now, we are peeling onions. And not just regular onions. These are like shallots. They call them shallots. Or uh, boiler onions. You can buy them in a bag at the store, at the Walgreens. Or at the Vons or Ralph's or wherever. In the produce, just cut the ends off and then get a good chunk of that outside skin off. Take it off. And leave it whole, just like that. You're going to do a whole bag of those. You're going to do three or four carrots. You're going to do three or four stalks of celery. And you're going to do about two good sized potatoes. And you're going to clean them. You're going to wash them up. And you're going to chop them up into bite sized pieces like this. Okay? Then you're going to go out and you're going to buy two packages or, well, these are a pound each of beef stew for beef. Right out of the butcher section, beef stew for beef. It's stew for beef. Already kind of cut up and looks good. Five bucks each. Buy two of them. You're going to take those right out of the package. You're going to roll them in the flour. And you're going to throw them in the pan. All right. So we've uh, already done one package of beef. It's already in the crock pot, just kind of waiting to be used. But basically, you're just going to take this raw meat right up out of the package and toss it in this bowl of flour and roll it around in there and get it covered in flour. Now, I don't know what that does other than taste really good. I have no idea what the actual reason for doing that is, but you roll it in the flour and and we're just going to keep doing this. So, there's ways to do this beef stew not in the crock pot, but the crock pot's just easy. You know, you're just kind of not really paying attention to it. Leave it as you go to work, leave it overnight. I'm going to leave mine overnight on low. It's going to cook all night. In the morning, I'm going to wake up, I'm going to have this excellent aroma in the house. Uh, and uh, we're going to have a nice beef stew tomorrow. So, I'm just going to keep doing this meat right now. Once you get all that meat rolled up in that flour, I'll show it to you in a minute. I did most of my preparation already. I did. I washed my carrots and my celery and my potatoes, and I peeled the potatoes. I peeled, uh, peeled the carrots, too. Um, you don't have to, as long as everything's clean. You can leave the peels on if you're really into the nutritional value aspect of that. I'm just going to keep taking these chunks of beef and just throwing them in this bowl of flour. Just rolling them around. Uh-huh. And then once I roll them around, I put them in another bowl just to so that when I throw the beef in the pan, because that's what we're going to do next. We're going to brown this beef. Okay, so... But we're just we're kind of putzing along here. So, like I said, you got about 40 minutes, 45 minutes prep time. Just chop, just washing vegetables, peeling vegetables, chopping vegetables. You don't want anything in your stew that's bigger than your a bite size. Bite size is what we're looking for. Just makes everything easy when it comes to eating it. Uh, it's very convenient to not have to cut anything and just picking up chunks of beef and chunks of uh, potato and putting them right in the old yeah <laughs> all right so we've got all these this is my second pound I've done so you're gonna do two pounds of beef like I said you're gonna do about three carrots you do about three or four celery sticks you're gonna do about uh, a one two 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 potatoes 
two decent sized potatoes and then once all your meat is done you can just throw away the uh, excess flour I'm gonna wash my hands So that's the messy part. Okay, now we are ready to throw our meat. That's floured cubes of steak. They call it beef for stew at the grocery store. We're going to throw that into this pan with a little bit of oil. Hold on. You're going to want to put about three or four tablespoons of oil in the pan. Some say too, too much is no good. You would think, oh, more oil's better? No, it's not. It just adds more oil to your stew, and you don't want too much oil in your stew. So I actually put a little too much in. I'm gonna dump a little out. <laughs> my prep is not very good for this video, apparently, huh? All right, now I gotta wash my hands again. <laughs> you know, but you know how honey is when it comes to the using dirty hands for anything, right? Well, guys, we don't care. We know it's good. <laughs> All right, so now just gonna take these beef chunks, mm. toss them right in here. You just want to brown this beef up. Just turn, stir it around. Just let it cook. Right? Eventually, it'll look like this. Alright? So now, you're going to take all your vegetables. Potatoes, carrots, celery. Those are basically it. And your onions. I don't have all the onions done and I'm really dreading it because peeling onions ooh, get a little dicey. But uh, cause you know I hate to cry. But um. <laughs> okay, these shallot onions, boiler onions, whatever. They're small little onions. It's really nice to leave them whole. Because when they cook up, the onion goodness, you know, the flavor is there, but the heat is gone. So, a whole, you would think, oh, a whole big old onion in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it sure is a pain peeling them. If anybody has a better secret for this, please let me know. I just kind of get most of the skin off. I cut one end off. Cut the other end off, turn it on its side, give it a little sli slice down there, take the skin, and just go for that. There you have it. All right, one down. Like nine more to go. We're sitting here cutting onions. Talking to you. All right. All right, just keep browning up your meat. You can see it's starting to get a little a little brown here, but you don't see any real browning yet. It just it's just changed color from the white, but you want it to be you want it to have some brown on it. And hopefully put it in the pan when it's hot. Hot sear it. Mm-hmm. And we're still doing onions. <laughs> All right, we're in the final stages. Meat's looking pretty good. You see it's looking a little more brown now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give that a second more. I'm gonna give that a little second more. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna take our onions that I peeled and I prepared by taking the skins off, cut the ends off, 
and then take the outer skin off. You don't want an onion skin in your stew. We're going to throw these in here with our other pound. We've already got our other pound of meat we already did right here with our celery and our carrots and everything. We're going to put that in there with a package of this beef stew mix. Okay? My There's other brands, I'm sure, but beef stew. It's got all the seasonings you need. Just easier. I don't, you know... Easier is better. All right, it's been a while since I made a movie, I guess, huh? All right, so we're gonna take our package of seasonings, dump it, there's our meat, on top of our onions and our vegetable mix. We're gonna dump this in there like that, just the whole thing, and we're gonna put three cups of water. It says three cups. I'm probably gonna put five cups, because I'm gonna leave my thing simmering all night, on low. All right, so I've got six cups of water in here. And as you can see, uh, I doubled the, the amount of water because you're going to want to have some stew, you know, some water, some stew, some actual broth. So, you know, I don't know why I only said three cups, but I put in six because it's going to cook a long time. So everything's in here. We're just going to put the lid on. Set it to low and leave it cook all night. This is what you got left in the kitchen. <laughs> Throw all that out, you know, all your stuff. Do your dishes and go to bed. In the morning, you wake up, have a really nice beef stew. Have a good one.